Here are some of the most interesting hobbies that only rich people can afford to do. Number 9. High Stakes Poker It's generally understood that amateurs aren't as good as the pros in any sport or profession. The same thing is true about poker. However, how many sports or activities out there are you able to play with the best in the world? When super rich business guys conquer the business world and have billions of dollars and need more adrenaline, they switch to high stakes poker. Businessmen all over the world like to play poker and poker rooms are all over the world. However, only a handful of businessmen are rich enough and are crazy enough to battle it out with professionals at the highest level. The biggest cash games in the world are currently played on Jeju Island. A couple years back it was in Manila and before that it was in Macau. Most of the people that play in these games are rich business guys from Asia. For example, businessmen Richard Yong and Paul Fua are known to be the organizers of some of these big games. So, how do these games get? How big do they get? Pots easily get into the millions of dollars whenever a couple of people go all in. Playing high stakes poker is only for people who have a blatant disregard for money, but enjoy a good time playing poker and getting to know famous poker players such as Tom Dwan or Phil Ivey. If you guys are into learning more about the most interesting topics, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Number 8. Health and Wellness Treatments Having good health is the most important thing we have in life. Without good health, we can't do anything. Considering we can't e ever make more time, being as healthy as possible in order to feel as good as possible for as long as possible is more important than making money. We can always make more money, but we can't make more time. For the super rich with money that can last generations, they go all out to extend the quality of their lives. Famous athletes such as Floyd Mayweather and Cristiano Ronaldo have cryotherapy chambers in their homes. If you're unfamiliar, this basically involves sitting in a cold tank for a whole variety of health benefits. The most luxurious treatments are at luxury resorts where super rich people can visit in order to get the latest and best treatments for their bodies. At these resorts, people receive a range of alternative therapies. The Gershon Clinic in Mexico, for instance, employs a vegetarian diet, organic juices, coffee, and natural supplements to help the body heal itself. That's for just a low price of $6,000 a week. Number 7. Racing Boats Also known as Go Fast Boat, cigarette boats are built for the purpose of going fast. And if you're into them, be sure to dig deep into that pocketbook because they can get really expensive really quick. Earlier in 2018, for instance, Mercedes-Benz unveiled a nearly $2 million racing boat, the 515 Project One. This cigarette boat can reach speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. The boat's design is based on the Mercedes AMG Project One hybrid supercar, which was designed for Formula One. So in a sense, it's like taking a F1 car to the water. It's actually a pretty popular hobby for super rich people. The Miami Boat Show each year features some of the world's most expensive racing boats. And then, of course, there's yacht racing, another rich person hobby that over 99% of us will never get into. People have raced boats in various capacities for thousands of years now. Today, people still race boats all over the world. Billionaire Larry Ellison is the founder of Team Oracle. His team, just like any of their competitors, spends over $100 million a year to build the fastest sailboats known to man. Racing boats has to be the most expensive hobby, right? Number 6. Submarine Expeditions Submarines have been around for quite a while, longer than you might think. Alexander the Great is rumored to have created a primitive submarine. It wasn't until 1776 that there was an actual record of a submarine being used in combat. What once seemed like an impossible endeavor used to conquer opposing armies is now a new hobby for people willing to spend a whole lot of money to go deep into the sea. In 1986, the first ever commercial submarine tour was launched in Grand Cayman by Atlantis Submarines. While an average submarine tour will run you about $130 today, the super rich can take a single passenger submarine seven miles under the ocean. In 2011, Richard Branson introduced the world to his single-person submarine that would explore the deepest depth of the ocean. However, he decided to shelve the plan. Film director James Cameron, however, built 
his own submarine called Deep Sea Challenger and took it to the deepest depth of the ocean, also known as the Challenger Deep. Cameron became the first person ever to reach the Challenger Deep solo, and it was the first manned mission to the world's deepest realm since 1960. Number five, exotic pets. Most animals are better left in the wild, or at the very least in the hands of trained experts. I mean, who needs a pet tiger or a Komodo dragon? Well, at least super rich people can afford proper handlers. Over the years, plenty of famous rich people have been known for their odd choice in pets. Salvador Dali had a pet anteater that he walked on a leash around Paris. Elvis had a pet kangaroo. Mike Tyson famously had three pet Bengal tigers that became a storyline in the movie The Hangover. Michael Jackson kept a pet chimpanzee named Bubbles. Bubbles reportedly had a crib in Jackson's home that he slept in. There are plenty of rich people out there that seem to have more money than common sense. The exotic pet trade is pretty dangerous, but very lucrative. Billions of dollars a year are paid for exotic pets on the black market. According to the Humane Society, many of these pets are taken from their natural habitat as babies. But none of these facts will be stopping guys from Dubai buying a cheetah or a lion anytime soon, even with the threat of fines and jail time. Number four, horse racing. People have been entertained by horse races since ancient times. Human civilizations all over the world have long been enamored by horse racing. Just like back then, it costs a bunch of money to have a winning racehorse. A horse can easily be worth millions of dollars just because it wins a leg of the Triple Crown. Why? Well, because that horse may just sire another winning horse. Buying a young horse is much cheaper, but still easily in the five digits. There's also the annual costs for the stable, the trainer, race entry fees, and other fees we haven't thought of. On top of that, people bet some serious money on horse racing. Billions of dollars are wagered on horse racing a year. Of course, most people lose money when they bet on horses. In other words, you should only bet on horse racing if you're okay with the entertainment value of watching horses race while lighting money on fire. Number three, mountain climbing. Humans love to explore. It's in our DNA. We just go, hey, that seems really dangerous and difficult. Let's conquer it. And that's why mountain climbing is an expensive hobby rich people take up. While new technology and advances in climbing and safety equipment have made this a much safer activity, it is still dangerous. The more money you have, the more advantage you can have to conquer a mountain. Let's take Mount Everest as an example. Assuming you have minimal training and skill set to climb a mountain, it's roughly $45,000 in order to do it. That's including the cost of the $11,000 permit to climb the mountain. Some people say that the only thing stopping people from climbing Mount Everest is just how much money you want to pay. The government in Nepal earns about $3.25 million every year in royalty fees, making Everest a vital part of its economy. And that's just one example. Even climbing smaller mountains can become quite expensive once you spend time accumulating gear and training over the years. And here's a special entry, Richard Branson. And before we get to number one, we're going to cover one of the most fun-loving billionaires out there, Richard Branson. We've already mentioned that Richard Branson had the ambition of wanting to get to the deepest part of the ocean in a single-person submarine. For many people, that would be the accomplishment of a lifetime. But for Branson, it was just another thing for him to do. Richard Branson has engaged in many bizarre, awesome, and expensive hobbies over the years. But it's just fun in his spirit to always push forward and live life, as evident from all the different businesses he's tackled through the years. For example, he once tried to set the world speed record for crossing the Atlantic Ocean. It didn't go well. His boat capsized right before he broke the record and he had to be rescued. In 1986, with the help of an expert, he tried it again and broke the record by two hours. Seemingly addicted to breaking interesting world records, Branson also managed to set a world record by crossing the Pacific Ocean in a hot air balloon at 245 miles per hour. He also crossed the Atlantic in a hot air balloon because, but why not? You know what? Why stop there? He also tried to fly around the world in a hot air balloon. He didn't make it, but like Wayne Gretzky once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Let's not forget his kite surfing activities include those with models all over him. He can also kite surf and chop it up with political leaders, and that's evident with him hanging out with Barack Obama. Number two, RC model airplanes. 
on the surface, playing with a remote-controlled airplane might seem kind of uh, childish. But there are some pretty mind-blowing, super expensive remote-controlled model airplanes out there. Some models can actually travel at speeds of 450 miles per hour. So how expensive can this hobby get? How does 60 grand sound? Some guy named Gordon Nichols made a model airplane for 60 grand, and the plane crashed. Yeah, definitely sounds like a high-risk hobby. David Grossman of Popular Mechanic reported that a $35,000 model airplane also crashed. The expensive toy was roughly a third the size of the scale of the actual plane. The crash, which was captured on video and posted to YouTube, is definitely awkward to watch. You just imagine the feeling of flushing away years of craftsmanship and 35 grand as the plane is about to crash into the ground. Unlike the toy model planes that some of us made as kids, these things are super detailed and they actually fly. That and they're super expensive. Some guys will make replicas of actual airplanes, such as Peter Michael. He built a replica of an Airbus A380. It not only looks like the real plane, but it sounds like the real plane. Measuring 15 feet in length, it's almost like it is a real plane. It took him eight months and 5,000 hours to make. And thankfully, when the plane went up to the sky, it did not crash. Number one, plane collecting. Does it get more expensive than collecting planes? Maybe, maybe not. Take Paul Allen, for example. The billionaire co-founder of Microsoft and sports team owner is into owning planes. Planes as in war planes. Paul Allen owns 20 different war planes. When he was younger, he used to read about engines and planes and just wanted to learn about how things work in general for hours. Since he's worth many billions, he's decided to turn that passion into a collection of planes since the 90s. You know how nice he is? He's opened up his 31 plane collection to the public for free. Here's what's next. 